everybody. Hi. It's, it's Laura here. And Amanda. From Fit Chicks Academy. And we are jumping on here today because we want to talk to you about something that is super, super important and that keeps mm -hmm. coming up. So we thought, you know what, we got to address this on video. So yeah. we are in the midst of um, enrollment for our Holistic Nutrition Weight Loss Expert Program. And we have this same comment that keeps coming up over and over again. And mm -hmm. that is the idea of feeling like I want to pursue this career. I want to become a holistic nutrition and health coach, but I feel like I don't look the part. Mm -hmm. So I know Amanda, <laughs> between you and I, we both are fielding a lot of calls and we're doing info sessions and we're coaching women and we're talking to our students. And this comes up all the time. It does. It's such a huge block and such a huge fear for people where they feel like oh, if I don't look a certain way, if I don't look at the industry standard or whatever that they think that is, they feel like they're not ready. They feel like they have to get ready to become a coach. And that's not the case at all, guys. You just, what you need is you need the education and you need the certifications and you need the background knowledge to be able to support what it is that you are sharing. And that's how you make impact. It's not about what you look like. <laughs> Well, and this is where, you know, I address this probably at least like once a day. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of our goals with Fitchix Academy is getting women unstuck, getting you guys out of your own way, out of these blocks and this script that we've been telling ourselves for years and years and years that is holding you back from pursuing the life, the career and the body that you deserve and the health you deserve. So we want to, we want to flip that script. So one of the things that I always say to you, and I remind uh, all of our students or anyone who's interested in becoming a coach is that aesthetics has nothing to do with health. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a lie. The fitness and nutrition industry has been telling us for so long is that if you look a certain way, then you are healthy. You're healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Where that is completely untrue. And I think that now we're at this really great time that we're starting to see that shift, right? We are seeing more different uh, voices coming forward and different coaches and different bodies who are like, you know what? I don't have a six pack. I don't look like somebody who's on the cover of, you know, oxygen magazine or whatever, which FYI guys, those women too have been preparing for that magazine shoot for months and months and months and months. <laughs> they didn't just like walk on and be like, this is me today. I'm just healthy living. You know, there is. Yeah which I think, you know, that's a whole other tangent I could go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's what we have started to believe as women is that, okay, that's what healthy should look like. And mm -hmm. like I was saying, we're in a really great time though, where we're seeing a lot more body diversity. And that is because of course we have social media and we have different programs like ours that are starting to break through that mold and starting to have a voice that showing you guys that, yes, you can do this no matter where you are right now. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think, you know, the thing is, is that if you decide to not, if you decide to let that stand in your way, if you decide to not take any kind of action towards getting over that block, getting over that fear, you're going to lose out on so many opportunities. Like when I think back to, you know, um, right after I had my daughter, I was invited to come and do a speaking engagement at the Strong Women's Conference. And I remember I was so excited, like I was so honored to be a part of this and to be invited. It was like with speakers, um, Christmas Abbott was headlining it. And like, there was all these amazing trainers and speakers that were going to be there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But then I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, I can't do this. I'm supposed to go and speak about weight loss and, you know, strategies for um, healthy living and for weight loss strategies. And I was like, but I don't look the part because I was postpartum. I was like, um, I think three months postpartum at the time. And I remember going to myself and this is like legit. I actually said this to myself. I was like, I think I'm going to get a shirt made that says I just had a baby. <laughs> and I was like, I actually considered this guys because this was like a real thing in my brain. Cause I was so nervous to get up and stand up and speak about weight loss strategies when I was overweight, yeah. like overweight, meaning I still had this postpartum body. And I was like, Oh my God, people are going to judge me. They're going to think that like what I'm saying is untrue. And I remember doing it. And I was like, no, Amanda, you know what you're talking about. The knowledge you're sharing is accurate. You are sharing like solid information to support these women and help them on their journey, show up and do it. Yeah. And I showed up and Christmas Abbott was sitting front and center, right in front of me as I was speaking. And the whole time she was like, yes, I love this. Amen to this. And like that. And I was like, cool. Like what I'm saying is accurate. It's true. It's validating it in that sense for me too. While I was up there and kind of nervous about the judgment and knowing that, but my whole point is, is that it's like, if I would have let my block get in the way, 
-hmm. I would have lost out on that opportunity. I wouldn't have had that relationship with Kristen Sabbath. I wouldn't have been able to interview her for our podcast. I wouldn't have been able to have met Stu Alphonse and all these other people that I was able to meet at the conference. And, you know, that's just, that sucks. <laughs> like you can't let something get in your way. You can't let this fear of yours or this block stand in the way of your life and what you want. Well, and some of the most amazing holistic health and nutrition coaches that I know are completely from all different body shapes, all different yeah. sizes. And I always say this, right? Like we're at a time too, where we need diversity more than ever. And mm -hmm. we need it in the ways of ages. We need all different ages of health coaches. We need all different shapes and sizes and abilities and races because yeah. What ends up happening, guys, is when you have somebody, when you give yourself permission to share your story and share your struggle and be an inspiration to other people, you're going to attract people who need what you have to give. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have to look a certain part to serve people. It's that you have to be yourself and mm -hmm. be, and be comfortable with sharing that information. And then you're going to attract the people who need your help. And that's even something exactly. with us we've seen in Fitchix Academy is that from day one, our brand has always been about chick power. We never market to women's insecurities. We're all about helping women get out of their own way, get unstuck. And through health, that's part of it, right? Mindset is huge. Of course, taking care of your fitness and your nutrition and all that is it as well. Mm -hmm. But we have never been, you know, the quote unquote six pack abs, like, you know, everything that we do with our brand, whoop, as I'm dropping stuff, everything we do with our brand is all about female empowerment and all about loving yourself as you are right now and getting through those things that are holding you back. So, and we've attracted, we've ended up building one of the largest women's only fitness companies in the world. We now have Fitchix Academy where we educate and certify fitness and nutrition coaches from all over the world. Um, and a lot of that has come from being authentic with our journey, being authentic with our struggles and realizing that these are just blocks that are standing in your way of you living your best life. So exactly. we really hope this is giving you guys a little bit of insight and permission. We're giving you permission right now to release that idea that you don't look the part, release yeah. it, let it go. <laughs> get rid of it altogether. And to believe us, once you get your certification, once you take the program, once you build the skills and the confidence, it's going to be so much easier to let go of that block. Right now, I might be saying that. You might be like, oh my gosh, well, I don't see how that's possible. When you surround yourself with like-minded people, you build your skills and confidence. It's so much easier to let that stuff go and be able to step in to the woman that you're meant to be. Exactly. Okay, so there is a link that is around this video. We have our Holistic Nutrition Weight Loss Expert Program coming up. Make sure you click on it for more information and we cannot wait to start this journey with you. Bye. Bye, everyone.